So this has been a topic that has been going on for a couple days now, specifically once Musashi came out with her gun. And that is concerning Helena. Um, yeah, um, she's been a, well not a problem, but she's been a controversy, I guess, for the upper echelon of players that have been playing this game for a while now. That really cares about min-maxing for damage and bossing and whatnot. She's been a problematic factor uh, coming into this game. And I'll go ahead and explain into detail why a lot of people feel the way they feel about um, things that may not work well with Helena, like guns, ships, and whatnot. We'll be, go ahead and discuss about this. I'm going to try to stay as neutral as possible because this has been a factor for... Oh, I've talked about this for a while now, especially if you guys have been in my Discord or Twitch chat. Then you guys will know how I feel about Helena in this game, so... I don't have to talk much about that, but I'll go ahead and be as um, unbiased as possible when it comes to this video. And let's talk about the merits of the ship in particular. So, if you guys don't already know, Helena has been in this game since the beginning of time. When the birth of Azure Lane came into existence in 2017, Helena was there with it. And thus, she brought in her infamous kits. Specifically this one right here. The Radar Scan. If you guys don't know, this is what makes Helena Helena. Radar Scan Plus. Well, this is the retrofitted version, so bear with me. Every 20 seconds, 60% chance to apply a debuff to all on-screen enemies, increasing the damage they take by 40% for 10 seconds. When this ship has an SG Radar equipped, increases this ship's evasion by 10%, and this skill attempts to activate and attempts to activate 60 seconds after the beginning of the combat, so 4 seconds shorter than what it usually is. <clears throat> so what makes this skill so good? If you guys don't know, Helna has the biggest damage increase in the game as of right now. The second closest one will probably be Nagato, assuming you're running a full uh, running two carriers with her. That's probably the second biggest damage buff in the game as of right now. Now, there is All Out or, uh, Assault Order from Cleveland and Kent. But I honestly feel like uh, Nagato's buff is way more benefactor compared because the ships are much more powerful there with the faction. And it's more consistent. So, But we'll keep that for another video. Maybe next one. But this video talking about specifically Helena. So... Why do people feel the way they feel about Helena? Well, if you guys are using Helena, you guys should know that Helena right here pretty much goes in every single boss fleet. Powerful debuff. Makes every ship on the field do a lot more damage for 10 seconds. And it has a pretty decent uptime. It's about, in a meta fight, it's about 34 seconds, assuming you're running the SG radar, out of 80 seconds. So that is about a little under 50% uptime for Helena's buff. So it's about like 40% uptime roughly around there in those kind of fights. For 40% damage increase, that is a lot. That is a lot, a lot, a lot. And if you guys are running like high damage healers like carriers, some battleships, torpedoes as well too, then you can get a lot of value from these kind of damage increases. So with that being said, because this buff is so powerful, a lot of ships want to play around this. Around this. So we all know carriers. Carriers wants to time their airstrikes about 20 seconds or so to match with Helena. We have a lot of carriers in the game as of right now, like Hakuryu, Shinano. Luckily for them, carriers have an easier time lining up compared to battleships because most planes take off roughly around the 23 second mark. So you can just adjust accordingly with reload and you're good to go, right? But battleships, this is a different factor because when you have battleships, it is different because depending on the situation, you got to run specific guns. And you can't really adjust as easily as carriers because for a carrier, there is multiple ways to adjust for a carrier. If you don't have the homing beacon, which is a 4% decrease on airstrikes, then you can just use planes like 10 rise pretty slow. I'm going to use comments this time, right? It's like 1.5 seconds faster. It's easier to adjust with carriers. But for battleships, it is much more difficult because you can only adjust with main guns. And if you adjust with main guns, then you may lose out on damage because that gun may not be pretty good. There's a reason why a lot of people don't use like 457 as much anymore because that gun is difficult to work with the Helena. So people are going to run like 
all right, well, because that gun isn't as effective, because I'm going to play an auto battle, we're just going to run a slower gun that matches with Helena. So this game really revolves around Helena if you're really into that min-max bossing style of gameplay. Now, why is this an issue? This makes it so there aren't many variety when it comes to gameplay. What I mean by this is right now, everyone's like stacking up like we're running heavy hitters, Musashi, Vanguard, New Jersey, for a sole purpose of just stacking as much damage increase as possible on the biggest damage dealers, Musashi, New Jersey. You won't see much gameplay from like Ulrich or FDG because even though they have okay damage output, it's not the highest. And when you have high damage output, the only way it gets better and gets stronger is to have those buffs. Um, Helena buff, Vanguard buff. It's Plymouth buff, those kind of factors. So you run these specific ships. However, if you run specific ships like these, they come with some they come with some um, flaws with them. Back then when New Jersey first came out, people said her reload was too fast. It was way, way too fast. It was difficult to line up with her. It pretty much made it really difficult to work with until people figured out like, oh, she does so much damage. Let's just ignore her and just go blast through it, right? So that's how that's that's how it is. Vanguard also had a problem where her reload buff is like 20%. These things right here, even though some people said it's griefing, it kind of is, it's difficult to work with Helena. So when you have all these ships like Vanguard, New Jersey, they, they're, like, they're good ships, but when you see like, oh, it has a 20% reload, that's kind of scary. That means you got to adjust accordingly. Like, guys, the 457 has been the best in slot gun for a long time. And even it still is the best in slot gun for damage. However, because this game revolves around Helena for min-max bossing content, these guns don't match up with Helena, especially when you have things like a 20% reload increase, or New Jersey in this case has a, uh, if I can find it, a 10%. And it's much more difficult to work with because if you get to the point where you, you're not playing manual because truth be told guys if you're doing manual for every single like meta fight arbiter fight or whatever content you're doing it's going to get tiring after a while you really want to press that auto button just like walk away and in order to min max your auto damage you're going to have to adjust accordingly with guns and whatnot so even though the 457 may be really really strong it doesn't line up with helena therefore it's not the best in slot gun for most people's day-to-day -day activity because people are going to auto battle right so that's the issue as of right now with helena the new gun right now yamato gun although is insanely insanely powerful it just doesn't work with helena it fires about every 25 to 30 seconds helena scans are about 20 every 20 seconds aside from the first like if you guys watched my previous meta 15 battle the first the first uh, Musashi volley with the 460 lines up. The last two don't. Well, you guys won't see the last last one, but the second, third one doesn't line up. So what does this mean? It means some people don't like this gun because it just doesn't line up with Helena. Now again, Helena being the really benefactor of bossing content because you gotta use her pretty much every single time for min-max damage, she can't adjust it that much. You can basically do it every 16 seconds at the start and then 20 seconds after that. Or every 20 seconds and then work after that this kind of gameplay is now it works but it's difficult to work with because here's the thing even though it is a really good buff unless you're resetting every single battle it is just not worth it because it is a very rng skill it is a 60 percent chance to proc this skill now and if you're running sg rare and meta fights you get this four times the, la uh, the first 16 seconds, 20 seconds after that, 20 seconds after that, and the last 4 seconds of the battle, and that's it. You have a f you have a 60% ch percent chance to proc this 4 times throughout the whole fight to get maximum damage increase. Now, is that probably going to happen? Probably not. You're going to have to reroll a bit. But not everyone's going to do that. I personally don't do that unless I'm doing like a video. Like, I'm going to one-tap my Arbiter, or not one-tap my Arbiter, gonna, well, yeah, <laughs> one-tap my Arbiter, one-tap my Meta fights. Then I'll do it. Otherwise, most of the time, day by day, I just press auto and just, okay, if I get 1 mil, I get 1 mil. If I get 1.4 mil, I get 1.4 mil. I'm not going to worry too much about it. So unless you're that min maxi kind of person, you just, just ignore it, right? But you, ha you have a lot of people in this game saying 
like got like 457 is not good yamato guns are not good the fact that a lot of ur guns in this game are not good for battleships says something wrong like that mindset is bad because these guns are really good like the 457 the 460 i guess this one's okay too because for uh, light armor fights they're not as good because people play on auto battle and when people play on auto battle it launches right away and it hell no scans just don't line up with 457s and yamato guns it just doesn't the 457s georgia guns are too fast the yamato guns 460s are too slow so you gotta find middle ground the best middle ground right now we have is like the 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 mk the ap mk6s the 406 from pr3 and i guess the marco gun too if you want to use like uh, new jersey these are pretty much the best guns right now to use for bossing on auto because they just line up with helena it's kind of dumb i know but it's just that's just how it is so as of right now where it stands most people shouldn't care about helena because i'm pretty sure if you guys um are like any stage of the game that's like prior to end game you're just running whatever you want meta uh waifus some metas i guess but not like hell not all the time you shouldn't worry too much about it i know a lot of people are saying like hell not, like the dictates bossing fleet and it does for end game but most people aren't end game like I i've seen comments i have account reviews not many people are at end game so you guys shouldn't worry about oh i need hell not this i need hell not that it does increase damage yes but not everyone's going to play that way. And truth be told, it doesn't matter what your score is on a meta fight because you get more or less the same thing except like maybe two more points going into your um, meta tickets or whatever. That's about it. It is not a huge loss. It's not a big deal. Now, is it going to help for like Arbiter stuff? Yeah, having a Helena does help, but you don't need a Helena to clear it. I've cleared many Arbiters without Helena. I've done meme runs of DD only Vanguards. I've done... 120 only ships without helena i've done many many of these showcases before where i just don't need helena now do you need helena for war 14 no you need helena for arbiter fights no do you need helena for meta fights no now do you want to one tap an arbiter do you need helena yes do you do you want to one tap meta fights uh with helena you don't well not nowadays musashi's so broken but you don't need her it helps but you don't need her there's just, there's more to this game than just Helena. There is. And right now, the people that are saying, like, Musashi's gun is bad is because Helena dictates the game. So, how's this going to change going moving forward is either Manju slowly adds more ships that can compete with Helena. But here's the thing. They have to compete with Helena in the sense that their buff shouldn't stack with Helena. If they do this then you just replace Helena with a new ship. But if they don't do that, you're going to run both these ships, and that's bad. Or they got to make this game more anti-Helena based. And they did a good job in some um, OS fights where it has like a... Some boss tags have like a 8. There's um there's like a... Every 20 seconds, there's a, it would take 1 damage or something. That helps. Now, is it going to help fully? No, but it does help. Every 20 seconds that bosses take 0 damage or 1 damage or whatever, that does help. There has to be more ways working around it. And as of right now, when it comes to just min maxi damage for the top 1% players, I guess, Helena is just way too important. But if you guys aren't at the 1% or whatever, you're playing for fun, Helena is not a problem. And you guys can play whatever you want. Strictly speaking, when I try to make content that's like impressive for my viewers, I try to run the best in slot things on auto battle so i'm gonna play with helena most of the time but there are cases where i do videos where i just don't run helena i do fun stuff like let's do all dds let's do all vtubers let's do all dds or whatever right we do all those things so helena is not the end of the world you can definitely play the game without her will you be like a top score for meta fights or one tap your arbiters or whatever probably not but let's let's be real here guys no one really cares if if you really care about how you place on a meta fight or arbiter fight no, you don't need to. Just play however you want and be okay with it, right? So that is the story of Helena, where she stands at right now. She is a t premier ship for the longest, longest of time, mainly because that buff is just way too powerful. She fits into carrier setups. She fits into battleship setups. She goes pretty much anywhere, 
it is difficult to replace her until there is gameplay where bosses just don't like Helena or we're running something like better options aside from Helena. So that's where the game stands up right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Any discussions about Helena, feel free to comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.